Hey, how are you, Kim? Good. So last week, we associate summer with Memorial Day weekend. So technically, it's not until June 21st, but we didn't have such great weather. No. But as we are looking at the app for the weather for the next couple of weeks, it's looking pretty good. So I'm wondering what Tim, the five-minute bartender, is uh, cooking up today for our summer drink. Yeah, why you should ask. And? I'm sure it will be refreshing. Yes, definitely. So, you know, <clears throat> we kind of got off to a bad start last week, right? Uh, the weather was kind of crappy everywhere. It was raining so much. It is just abundant sunshine. So um, there's nothing like a fruit drink for the summer. Fruit and bubbles. As you guys know, I love my bubbles, so it doesn't matter which one it is. And there are so many cool sparkling uh, waters out there. Just everybody's making them. <clears throat> They're no calories. We're, we're going to go with LaCroix today, but there's a lot. Uh, Pellegrino makes some bubbles. Um, we chose LaCroix because it's a little bit coarser bubble, a little bit stronger bubble, bigger bubbles, right? So if you go with something like San Pellegrino, it's uh, the effervescence is a bit finer, right? And it doesn't really stand up to uh, what we're going to do today. So sometimes you need the, you know, the more subtle and, um, and uh, smaller bubbles, I guess you say. It's a little softer feel when you're drinking it, right? It's more so like a soft. So they are liking whether you would want a lot of Yeah, you know, drink what you up. like, right? Um, so we're gonna do some basics here. We're gonna do some muddling today, all right? This is kind of a technique for muddling. Um, and the good news is you can muddle just about any fruit or even vegetable, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, we, we like to keep it fresh, you know, keep it organic. Um, and you know just use fresh ingredients because it just makes a big difference so this is kind of cool it's easy to make so don't get don't get scared about muddling this we call this the, the um, muddled felon right the muddled felon all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna start out um, today we're using um, an apricot okay so you can see that uh, it's got it's an apricot and a plum and uh, it's got you know, it's got a, a soft uh, outside skin to it. It's closer um, to the apricot family. Yeah, it definitely looks more apricotish. Um, and when you cut it, you know, the, the, the pit comes away from the flesh pretty easily. So um, the trick with muddling fruit is uh, do not chill it, okay? Keep it warm and let it ripen. Get the ripest stuff you can. Right now, we're starting to get some really good, sweet summer fruit, right? And uh, yeah, so, um, you know, I, I think midsummer is the best time. You know, those peaches, those plums and pears. Pears a little later, right? But, um, so these are really sweet. You know, it's got, it's got a really, really good kick to it. And it's like, you know, it's a fruit sweetness and fruit sugar. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is, you want to just start out with your alcohol and whatever you're muddling. In this case, Aqua Pumps, okay? So I'm going to measure out. Uh, we're going to start off here. Get your, no ice yet. Just get a couple of ounces in there. You're going to make one drink here. We're going to roll this drink, and I'm going to show you all about that. So we're going to use one Aqua Plum, okay? So that's four quarters here. And you don't have to skin it? Uh, you, you know, you can if you want. It's, that's personal preference. With, with fruit like this, you leave the skin on. You know, it's not like you're uh, infusing it. It's not going to get bitter. And we're going to strain it. No, we're going to leave this in here. We're going to, so what you do, like I have, um, I'm, I'm a bit of a purist. I have both uh, the, the metal uh, with the plastic end and a wood muddler. Um, and you just put it in a big pint glass, right, or your shaker tin. And then you're going to fill your other glass. This is the glass you're going to drink from. You fill that with ice, and we'll, we'll go through that. So you want to muddle this. Get it in there. Be careful in the beginning because it'll squirt out at you. And you want to get it till you don't recognize the fruit anymore. It's got a kind of a, a, a bumpy, serrated edge uh, to the muddler, and that helps you um, mash up the fruit. While so, you're doing that, can I tell them a little bit about felony? Yeah, please do. So felony is a organic sugarcane vodka, and it has 
no carbohydrates, it had, it's non-GMO, and it's gluten-free, and it's very low in calories. So we try to uh, make skinny drinks for everyone, especially in the summertime, because they're more refreshing, but you can add whatever soda you would like to this. So we add the sparkling water and the different kinds of yep. seltzers that we get. Uh, we like that other one too, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a new one that's really good. Yep. I don't know how new it is, but to me it's new, because I haven't seen it before. But anyway, that's Felony Rock, a little bit about it. Okay, so we're done here. So this is gonna be looking a uh, little soupy. Oh, looks uh, good, like a that the camera. So that's your alcohol, that's that's an ounce and a half, two ounces of felony vodka and one apropom. So any, you know, any like white peach or yellow peach, um, you know, that softer fruit really goes over well, right? Peach so, would probably be really good. Yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this concoction into our glass, right? You see how that's oh, really, that. really thick, right? And we're gonna open up one of these. So I use lemon, right? If if you're un, unsure about what to use, you know, in terms of flavored seltzer, you could just use regular seltzer. There's a lot of sugar in this apple plum. Um, lemon is an enhancer for fruit, mm. okay? It's gonna bring out and accentuate the flavor of your fruit, right? And when you mix it with a sweet fruit like this, uh, or a peach, or, you know, something like that, even citrus, right? Um, so like an orange or, if, you know, uh, melon and, and, you know, honeydew, things like that, you can, you can use those as well. Um, the lemon is going to enhance the flavor, won't take it over. Um, and you, won't, you, you don't really taste the lemon. So okay. what we do is we, we pour that in there, and then we top it off, and we want to get it to the level where we're going to drink it, and we're going to roll this. So rolling it means pouring it back and forth from one glass to another. We don't want to shake it because we're going to lose all the bubbles, right? Right. So we're going to just pour it back and forth, and that will mix it for us, right? Maybe one time, and you got a wonderful looking drink. And that's mixed enough, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to garnish that, right, with, uh, with some slices of the, uh, the apple plum, and get that on there. We can put another one in there. I just cut that one. So it'll stick on nice. And this is great to have with a straw. And there you go, man. That is such a go. great cocktail. Very healthy. Yeah. Takes about, and Vanna is showing off the valuable <laughs> prizes once again. So I do have one question though, Tim. Yeah. Do you think that crushed ice would be good in this? Oh, uh, sure. I mean, it's, you know, it's personal preference. Yeah. Uh, so if you like I'll crushed ice, like the slurpy type of thing, this is definitely where it's at. But, oh my God, it's so good. Um, you want to use a large straw, a large, we use these eco-friendly straws, right? They're really wide. Um, and, you know, you want to do that because, you know, you got a lot of muddled fruit in there, right? That's going to come through the straw. If you use one of those tiny little straws, you're done. You can't use it. You don't have to have a straw, right? So this straw kind of got, so a big, wide straw. Yes, yep. so you can get some of the fruit. Get some of the fruit. If not, you can just... Mm. Man, that is so good. So, great summer drink. Um, use any fruit you like and uh, muddle it up. Put a little bit of um, seltzer on top and you've got yourself a nice, clean, uh, light drink over ice. It's amazing. It really is. Hey, that's uh, Felony Friday. Your drink recipe for the weekend. Thanks for joining us. From the Five Minute Bartender. Five Minute Bartender. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Have Thanks a great for joining weekend. us. <clears throat> that is delicious.